What is up, everybody? Welcome to another nine holes with the most hated disc and disc off the Halo Groove. Well, it's just a groove altogether, but there's a new one to hate if you really hate the groove. I really like this thing. The numbers are 13, 5, negative 2, 2. It might be, uh, it might be 6 glide. Not really sure. I'm here back at Union like I shoot most a lot of my videos. It's just convenient and you can throw some big bombs. Hole one is like 315. Should be able to get it there, no problem. I'm putting with my invader. Let's get it. I haven't played in like two weeks, a week or two. I don't know. It's been too long. You just gotta, on this hole, you just gotta make it around all these trees or shoot it straight through. Um, but this is not gonna do that. I have to pump it way out there, way to the right. Oh, that's looking so good. That might be parked. Not parked, but that's a really good first shot. I haven't even, usually I throw like in my yard and stuff. I haven't even done that. Just because the grass has grown up so much and I'm not trying to lose a disc in my yard. I left my Mako 3 out there for like a week and I didn't even notice until I noticed my Mako 3 was gone and it was right behind a tree. All right, there's where we landed. It's like 25 footer or so. Can't tell yet if my putting is gonna be worth the crap today. I really haven't played much since Jonesboro. Have a new putting grip. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm gonna try it today and just see how it goes. Go! Dang! Just a little bit more. Starting off with a par. Last time I played this, I birdied the first three holes. Actually, no. It's like the first two. I shot pretty good last time I was here. Hole two, I think, is 270. Um, it like cresses this hill. Uh, you can barely see the top of the basket. You probably can't see it on camera either. Um, but you just gotta hit this gap and, you know, hope you get through. Um, the run up is probably the worst in disc golf, honestly. Um, this is not the disc I would pick for this hole, but it's whatever. I'm gonna go beside whatever this is. Oh, that better get down quick. That's going in the parking lot of the bank. Yep. Oh, dang. We might be OB. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Um, definitely didn't park it. That's where we landed and uh, there's the basket. Could have went a little bit straighter. I mean, I'm gonna try to throw it in. That's gonna be a long one. Ah, almost. Tap in. Watch me miss it, and then I'm gonna make myself look like an idiot. I'll even do it with my bag on. And why do I have my bag when I'm only playing with two discs? That's to hold all my other crap. Why am I about to putt with my, with my groove? Putting is feeling good from a close distance. Not so much from really far. I'm still at even through two. Hole three is like almost the same distance as this one. It's not as far um, and it's kind of the opposite. It's like going downhill. So gosh, this traffic is so loud. Oh, why does that one go so straight? What happened? I didn't throw it any other way than I usually do. The thing with the with the groove is like sometimes it'll actually fly like the numbers and sometimes it'll fly like a destroyer. I don't know. I mean I meant to throw it in that direction, but it didn't it didn't come out of it. Kicked off the tree, probably just to pitch up for par. Again, those were like the three easy par or easy birdies to get. I would have been parked if it didn't hit the freaking tree. Let's see if I can get a throw in though for birdie. That would be insane if I got this right now. It's a bit downhill, not crazy downhill. No, but it's parked. That's where it should have been to begin with. Tapping it in with the groove. Next hole, hole four. That's what comes after three. All right, hole four. This might look a little familiar if you watched any of my how to throw videos, which is 
what I feel like a majority of my content, which I'm trying to change. Because uh, really I've done all the discs I own. Uh, until I can get out here with one of my friends, let me borrow some discs that aren't Innova. I'll do some more. Last time, well, I didn't how to throw on this. I almost parked it. So we're gonna we're gonna go for a park job on this. I've seen somebody ace this hole before. It's freaking insane. Ugh, tons of Anheuser. Tons of nose downness. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, I should have held straight a little bit longer, but that's that's down the hill. Well, I thought we were down the hill a little bit. We're right here. Um, it's a bit of a downhill toss. Man, I'm not putting, I got the height, I think. I'm just not leaving it out wide enough. Because as you know, the reason why I putt with invaders is because whether you putt with it or you use it as a throwing putter or both, it's going to hold the line. Like there's no flipping it up. So if you want to throw it flat, you throw it flat. If you want to throw it hyzer, you throw it hyzer. But it does kind of fight out of Anheuser a little bit. There's a card inside of the basket. It's a $10 gift card to Dick's Sporting Goods. Huh. Do I have a video idea? Ooh, that almost didn't go in. We're even through four. Let's break this. Let's break this uh, par train. And... Okay, hole five is like 350, but you gotta make it through all these trees. And I'm pretty sure this little thing right here acts as like a double or triple Mando. That gift card was for 2023. According to my calculations, it's not 2023 anymore. All right. Um, does it ever seem weird that no one ever talks about is like, it's the 20s again. When you think of the 20s, you think of like the other one that was like 100 years ago. <laughs> that just seems so weird to me. Like we're living in the 20s. I don't know. This is a random thought. Sorry. Um, I'm actually feeling like the forehand is going to be a better play here. I have not forehanded this disc. I've forehanded it once. We got to do it for disc golf, Jesus. That my forehands, like, just that little, I, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm winging it hard. So, um, I've gotten a little bit better at my forehands, but um, let's see. Oh, that is straight up. Heiser, the whole way. I should have just went with a backhand. I even put some Anheuser on it. It don't matter with that disc. I think I did. Don't go back and put it in slow motion because I probably didn't, but I felt like I did. Angle control is so hard with forehands, for me at least. All right, we got a dead straight shot to the basket. The basket's right there. I'm not gonna get it done with the groove. What I am gonna do is try to swing it around that way and kind of use it as like a utility disc. This would be great for shots like this that you can't really pull off any other time. I would just do it with my invader. That makes a lot more sense, but this isn't uh, playing nine holes with an invader. Get around that tree. Wow. Everyone argues if this hole is a par four or par three. Um, I don't actually know. This isn't, these videos really aren't about the score. It's just about instead of like doing a how to throw video showing you how it flies which i should have named it how it flies whatever i can't change it now i'm like 30 videos deep in that series but um it's more to show off what it would look like playing a course with different shot shapes i am directly behind this tree i am just going to use my invader because this shot is perfect for the invader Well, I could have gave it a lot more torque, but I did not. And now I came up short. I think it's a par four. I'm probably wrong, but I'm also, at the same time, probably also right sometimes, I think. We'll just call it a par. 
Never mind. Oh yeah, then I make, okay, then I make the groove. All right, nothing to see here. I do have something coming up that will be available for pre-order very, very soon. And you and all your friends could have tons of fun with it. Hole six, yeah, hole six. Um, it's like 200 and something feet. This is most definitely not a groove hole. I don't know what hole is for the groove, but it ain't this one. Um, there's a pole right here, and that is Mando right. Most people ignore it and just throw a forehand down there and skip off the road, but I don't want to skip this off the road, so I'm going to keep it, uh, keep it right. I'm just going to go hyzer. I'm going to hit a tree, unless I just get really lucky. Oh. <laughs> I just nailed that pole. You couldn't give me a thousand tries at that again, and I could do it with the groove. <laughs> What's worse, nailing a pole that hard or skidding off the road? And this road is really rough. I don't think it did any damage, but technically I made the Mando. See, so I hit the pole and then rolled right here. The basket, dude, that's so dark. The basket's down there. Another huge throw-in. I keep having to have throw-ins this whole round. Kind of lame, but we're gonna go for it even though there's like rocks and shit behind it. Oh, through the back and into the tree. Let's go, let's go for a skip in. Or a, a skip into the tree. Hey, that worked a whole lot better. <laughs> that may have been the better play. All right, I'm playing it from the groove. Wow. Putting the groove. That actually feels a lot better. <laughs> Cause it just has so much over stability. You can judge me if you want, but I kind of want to putt with pigs. I know a lot of people would have a problem with that, but guess what? It's not your putting game, it's mine. And uh, having something super overstable and something kind of sticky to grab onto the chains, you know, I feel like it decreases the room for error by a lot. Anyway, this hole, hole seven, there's the basket. Anyway, I usually park this one for whatever reason. Oh yeah, by the way, that pole didn't, I don't think it did anything to, I think it was a little thing. I don't know, it's probably from something else. Anyway, let's do this. Oh, that felt so good. Yo, that is up there. Holy crap. Okay, I might have figured something out just now about my drives. I actually really like the groove. I know it doesn't fly like its flight numbers. What Halo disc flies like its flight numbers? I'm telling you, when they get beat in, it's then it's like you just got it out of the box and now it's flying like its flight numbers. Like my Leopard 3, it flies better now, now that I've thrown it a ton of times, than it did when I got it. So now it actually flies like the flight numbers. I used to have to put a whole lot of Anheuser on it just to get it to go and fly like the numbers, but now I can actually flip it up with a Heiser flip. And I think this is our first birdie of the day. We have one more hole to go. Actually, no, we have two. Look at that. Dude, all right, I'm putting it on auto. All right, I'm just putting my camera on auto. I do that with videos, not pictures though. I'm not a pansy. I don't, I don't shoot in auto, shoot in manual, and I shoot in raw. If you know anything about photography, you know that one. Okay, I gotta get this one. This is like close as I've been in a while. Oh yeah, there we go. One down <laughs> through seven. Gross. I just missed my putt. I made that putt. Um, I can do a reenactment if you want me to, but we got our first birdie. All right, this next one is like 400 and whatever feet. The basket's way down there. I like my Halo Mamba on this hole. 
It's really good. If you're gonna throw something this overstable, you kinda have to give it a hard Anheuser rip. Oh, ah, if it would have held just a little bit more, that would have been so good. But it's a pretty easy little pitch up from the top of that hill because you're going downhill, so it makes it easier. All right, we're right here. A straight hyzer on this. Too much hyzer. That's up there though, that's a putt. So about this thing you can pre-order pretty soon. Still got some work to do on it. I've been working on it for over a year. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. Only a very, very few people know about it. No one that cares enough to just steal my idea. I mean, it's a very simple concept. It's been done before. It's not like this is like the first, it's not like I'm inventing anything, um, but it's just a very simple take on something that you can do while you're out playing. I would think usually you play in groups of four. If you have like five or six people, you can still do it. You'll see when it comes. Um, I will be showing it off on my channel with a group of friends. Um, if any of my friends that play with me usually see this and want to be a part of it, come on, let's do it. I'm going to get a prototype built. Built. And when I do that, we're going to play it. And then if you guys like the idea and want to fund it, I will have a spot open for pre-orders. And then I will figure out a pre-order date and we will have them made. So yeah, we are very close right there. Now let's make a putt on camera. This is about the same distance as I was earlier. And then I miss it. Wow. And I make the groove, wow. <laughs> what, man, I am so done. All right, hole nine. I think it's like 270 something. Probably like 260. Very easy hole where you just gotta get through these branches or through these trees. I am going to go through the middle gap. Let's get a better look at it. I mean, it's dead straight if you go through the middle gap. I kind of want to go over and with the groove, you can put, you can basically put it on a roller angle like that and it should hold on long enough to get some distance, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, usually I just opt for the straight gap. That's super low, but that's going. Oh, that skipped past the basket. All right, last putt of the video. Gotta make it. Bro! Yeah, if I would have made my groove on that one, I would have been mad. Yeah, I put too much into it when I usually don't put enough. That's it for this video. That was nine holes and a missed putt with the groove. Kind of click a beady. I know. Kill me, why will you? Sue me. I don't care. Subscribe if you're new here, if you've never seen my videos, which, you know, a decent amount of people that watch my stuff haven't subscribed yet. So just subscribe because I'm probably gonna have like a special offer for um, the thing to pre-order. Probably have like a pre-order bonus or something. Probably, who knows, a custom stamp disc. Who knows, I'm gonna do something cool. Maybe a mini, not sure yet. I'm gonna figure something out. But yeah, thank you for watching. That's it for this video. And uh, catch you in the next one.